Robocopter FPV. How do I convince my wife to let me fly more? Thank you for a two dollars super chat, Robocopter. Um, uh, tell her that uh, it's for your job. I don't know. I don't know. Have a. Here's what I would say. Have a good relationship with your wife where you communicate about your needs and desires and so forth and be an independent person. Um, like people, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, it's a normal thing. And so I accept that it's like a thing that happens to people, but all, like many things that happen to people that people accept as normal, I kind of don't understand it. Like, if I want to go fly, I just, well, for me, it really is my job. So what's my wife going to say? But like, if I'm like, hey, I'm going to a race on Saturday, I, I just go and I say, hey, there's a race on Saturday, by the way. And then if she's like, then she's like, okay, cool. And if she's like, oh, I had this thing with my friend on Saturday afternoon. I was hoping you would watch the kids. Then we just are like, I'm just like, okay, well, uh, we figure it out. But I, like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Guys who are like, hey, honey can I go fly this afternoon? And she's like, you have to do the dishes or whatever. I need you to clean the gutters. I'm like, the idea of asking another adult for like permission to do something with my own time is so weird to me. And the fact that so many apparently normal people consider that a normal part of their marriage is also extremely weird to me. But I'm probably the weird one. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. How do you convince your wife uh, to let you go fly? Remove the idea of of permission, and, and you know communicate about your needs, wants, and desires, and then come to a consensus collaboratively. And then at the end, if you decide not to fly, you will be deciding not to fly because you have together realized that there is something you care about more. And if you do go fly, then she'll agree that that's what you should be doing. Um, she is an angel, Jacob Rosenfeld. My wife is way better than I deserve. I mean, I'm pretty awesome too, so. <laughs> you tell her, I'm going flying today. Make me a sandwich while I'm gone. And, and have the house clean when I get back and a mixed drink ready to give me as a woman should and then you won't have a wife anymore because she'll divorce you and then you can fly whenever you want <laughs> when jb demands a mixed drink what does he drink thank you for jacob rosenfeld for two dollar super chat uh mixed drink uh gin and tonic good choice um old-fashioned good choice and then i recently became aware of something called a godfather and a godfather is basically, it's like bourbon and uh, amaretto. So it has similar, like, a balance to an old-fashioned. But instead of, like, the cherry liqueur, you've got the amaretto adding the sweetness. And I don't think there's simple syrup because the amaretto is pretty sweet all by itself. Um, so uh, called a godfather. And it's very nice. I'll drink a, I'll drink bourbon like on on the rocks sometimes. Seldom neat. I, I think bourbon is a little too sort of heady, uh, unless it's just something really special, and I don't want to water it down at all. I usually like it a little bit cold. Um, I actually have not uh, in the last year. I'm not saying I abstained completely, but I've actually cut back pretty significantly on the uh, on the alcohol. Uh, my doctor was like, hey, it's, you know, not a big deal, but your, your liver is a little, little less than optimal. And I was like, why? And they were like, we don't really know. Uh, we go, go, go get some tests. They were like, yeah, you know, you get old, your liver gets messed up, whatever. I was like, oh, that's not a very satisfying answer. So in the process of going to get like blood tests and all this nonsense, I was like, well, you know, if your liver is a little questionable, maybe you should just stop drinking alcohol because alcohol is pretty bad for your liver. So I cut the alcohol out uh, almost completely. And uh, then, you know, you know, three months later, we was back in for more tests and the liver was fine. And I was like, well, 
I don't know. Maybe that's it. So not as many, uh, not as many live. Remember when I would come to the live stream and I'd have a cocktail, and then I'd ch like chug the cocktail, and then I would like do a big giveaway where I'd just give away a bunch of 3D printers because I was like a little tipsy and a little little loopy. Yeah, sorry, but my liver is healthy, healthy-ish. <laughs>